Hello guys, what is up? Beck Bro Jack here back for another Minecraft video, and today I will be showing you how to make a vanilla Minecraft server. I hope you make a modded Minecraft server just like I did for my Jackpack modded survival. But a lot of people were asking me in the comments of that video, how do I find the IP address of my server? Like they got the server up fine, but then they did not know how to actually connect to it or get their friends to connect to it. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining that a little bit more. Plus, I'm going to be showing you how to create a regular old Minecraft vanilla server. So let's get right into it, guys. We're going to first go into our links right here. Here is a, a log me in Hamachi page. Now, this is the program that I like to use for uh, setting up my servers, but uh, you can also port forward or possibly find another program that does the same thing as this. But I've always had uh, trouble port forwarding in the past, and I found uh, Hamachi to be a great alternative, and uh, it allows you to play with up to four other friends on a private server. So what we're going to do here is make sure that this is clicked down here, the conditions of use, make sure that is checked off, and then you're going to hit download now, or you can download for Mac if you would like. But I'm going to hit download now right here for Hamachi, and it should say uh, Hamachi.msi in the corner. It just has three for me because this is like my third time testing it out and downloading it. So once that is all done downloading, you just need to click on it, and it should open up this installer right here, and you're going to hit run just like that, and we're going to wait for it to load up. Here we go. And now you're going to need to select your English, I mean select your language, I got those two mixed up. Alright, yeah, select your language, and for that is English for me, and then you're just going to hit next once more. And then uh, if you want to, you, know, you can read all these, but uh, you know, who does that, it's the 21st century, we're just going to hit agree. And then you can also create a desktop shortcut if you would like to, but I really don't like to do that, I just, you know, if I need it, I'll just search it up. But yeah, you could do that, that's just, you know, a preference, and then you're going to hit install. So now we're just going to wait for this thing to download and then I will show you guys like how to actually set everything up once it is downloaded. So I'll see you guys then. All right, that didn't take too long. It took maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. And now it should say finish and you're going to want to hit this thing launch Hamachi. It should already be pre-clicked. So you're gonna hit finish and that should start up Hamachi as you can see. So starting Hamachi. All right, now I'm gonna drag this thing into the center. There we go, just like that. It says, thank you for installing Hamachi. Please click this power button. So this is actually how you go online. Now you can select a client name. Uh, it should give you uh, like a preset one of what your computer is. I'm just gonna hit create, keep it the default. And now it should create your own uh, personal IP address right here. It's just like a random IP address. I've done this a few times and I've gotten random one each time. So for this particular one, mine's 25.3.23.46. Now these are gonna be the important thing. I believe this is your IP version four or something like that. But yeah, uh, now we're going to need to create a network. But uh, if your friends already have a network, you can hit join an existing network. But for us, we're going to create a brand new one. So this one I'm just gonna call Beckrojack for tutorial purposes, and then um, we're going to do a password of just one, two, three, four. I mean, I don't really think you need to have a password. I'm not totally sure if that's optional or not, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a password for this, and then I'm gonna hit create. So this has already been taken. Let's try Beckbro Jack one. There we go, all right. So now, as you can see here, it has this little green dot right here, which means that our network is currently in use. And then anyone who wants to connect to this network, they have to obviously have LogMe and Hamachi installed. They could just follow this tutorial. And then you're going to go up to network and join the existing network. And then you're gonna put in, you know, Beckbrojack1 or whatever your network ID is, that'll display right here. And then whatever the password is that you set up for it. And the best thing about this is you can create multiple different networks. So I believe, yeah, you can create a brand new network, but uh, at one time, only one network can be active. And like, you can only have four friends on a server at one time so there's no way of getting around it unless you want to like pay for more uh, slots on your server but as you can see it says one out of five and it already includes me so i can have four other people on this private network so now that we have this up i'm going to show you guys a minecraft uh, vanilla server so when i'm going to minimize this and go into our second link which is minecraft.net now you're going to need to uh, log into this page and then go to the download section right here and then you're going to go down here to multiplayer server and download the minecraft server 1.8.x now we are going to wait for that to download. Now this is how you're going to cr actually create the own server. They made it really easy. Now all you need to do is drag this off to the side and we need to create a folder to have all these brand new files in for a 1.8 server. So we're going to have a new folder and then we're going to name it, I guess, just Minecraft 1.8 server. Yeah, why not? Let's see if I can type today. There we go. And then we're going to drag the Minecraft server.x into there 
and then we don't need this anymore. Now we need to open up this little thing. Let's just drag it off to the side. I always just like to do that. Makes everything nice and uh, crisp and clean. And now we're going to double click on the Minecraft 1.8 server and then hit run. Now this should create a few new files for us. Let's see. Uh, we don't really need this thing. Let's just make sure everything's generated. Yep. That's all that's going to generate the first time that you load it up. We're going to need to open the EULA with our notepad, and we're going to need to change true, I mean false to true, because uh, you have to accept the new EULA for Minecraft 1.8 servers. And then now we should double click it again, and then now it should create some brand new folders. So let's see, let's just drag this off to the side so we can see the folders all generating up. There, as you can see, created like a new world file, some logs, uh, server ops. So yeah, now that that is good, we should be able now to connect to our server. But what I like to do, I like to shut it down more, one more time and kind of like restart it up. Let's see, can this thing shut down for me? Uh, there we go. And then I'll restart it up one last time. And then we'll go actually try to connect to the server. So let's see, now that it, that's up, we're going to open Minecraft and see if we can connect to our own server using this uh, IP address right here. So if you want to copy it, you just have to literally just left click on it and then uh, hit on copy IPv4. And then that'll copy it to uh, your uh, copy, What I forgot what that's called, um, copy it to notepad or something like that. It's just going to copy for you, so you can just press uh, control V. And we're going to wait for Minecraft to load up and then we're going to go on to servers. And then the, this should work, you know, with your friends and all. If your friends are trying to, you know, join your own server, just uh, direct them to watch this video. And then this is the part where they can actually connect. So you're going to go multiplayer. Uh, these are just ones that I was testing out. So we're just going to delete these real quick. These are like my other uh, IP addresses that I was testing out for this video. And then you're going to go over here to add server. And then we're going to paste that uh, unique IP address right there. Let's just see if they match up. Yep. 25.3.23.46. And anyone who is connected right here, they should also have like a green dot underneath this. And then they should be able to connect as well. So we're going to hit done. And as you can see right here, it says 0 out of 20. Let's just connect to this. It should uh, be a little bit laggy the first time I'm connecting, you know, because uh, the chunks all have to load up and everything. Let's see, they should be able to connect it. Now, if I had somebody to actually showcase this with, I would. I was uh, going to try and have Chris, but uh, he's at the beach, I believe, right now, so he couldn't be on. But yeah, this is just, uh, you know, to show you guys that this all works right here. I'm in a server. It's just me, sadly, and this new 1.8 rabbit. I, I totally forgot about these rabbits, and look, there's like a baby rabbit, but I'm lacking like crazy on here because I'm like recording it and running the server all at like the same time, and plus 1.8 is just really laggy. But yeah, guys, the purpose of this video was to show you guys how to do that, how to find the IP address, and how to create a vanilla Minecraft server, and you just literally have to apply the same thing if you're here from the previous video to the uh, modded survival part of this server. You just have to... Uh, download it Hamachi, find the IP address, invite your friends to the network, and they should be able to join. No worries, you know, it should all be okay. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. My name is Beckbro Jack. I hope this really did help you guys. If it did, make sure to go pound that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. But yeah, guys, my name is Beckbro Jack. I already said that, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.